Artemex Armor Farming is back on the table, citizens. We'll be taking on the verse in style once again, and this time it's way easier than ever before. Ever since 3.22 came out, the old method for Artemex armor, which involved taking down the Comoray and getting a land vehicle and heading over to different bunkers on Hurston isn't working. And I've been searching for the right way to get this done for a while now, but in this past week, I finally got it right. There are way fewer steps needed than before and no risk of being given a crime stat either. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet so that you don't miss out on any videos coming up and leave a comment down below telling me which armor set is your favorite. For now though, let's get right into it. As always, we need to do some prep. There is way less prep needed now though. All we need to do is get ourselves some armor for protection, a weapon and ammo to take out the bad guys, a med gun and some med pens just in case we need healing, a multi-tool, or just in case we need to move things and our ship. You could also turn this into a loot goblin run and bring along an empty SEU container to loot up all the enemies and dead guards that you'll find there, but it's a quick in and out if you're just there for the Artemex armor anyways. Now that we're suited up, let's jump into our ship and head on over to Hurston. Once we get to Hurston, all we have to do is wait for a mission to pop up under the mercenary section on our contract manager that is called Defend Site and Retrieve Confidential Materials. This is only going to work with this mission, or at least that's what I've found so far, so you might need to wait a little bit for it. It usually has a three to four minute cooldown as well, so it's not going to be up for long. And again, it can take some time for it to pop up on the Mobit Lars. You can do this mission solo, but I brought along my good friend Eternal Weasel for this video to get him some Artemex armor of his own. He makes some pretty dope content too over on his own channel, so I'll put a link in the description, go check him out. I'm looking to do some Helldivers content and I'd love to know what you're interested in seeing. Loadouts for different missions, news and updates, or just funny clips? Let me know down below. Back to it, now that you have your mission, you're suited up and you're ready, head down to the bunker. Usually you can land right by the bunker, but with the overdrive event that's going on at the moment, we had to land a fair bit away and run in because the turret was active due to it being an enemy controlled area. Once you get up to the door though, whether you land there or you need to make a run like we did, head on in and the search begins. You'll want to find the miniboss at the start of the mission to get your hands on the first few pieces of the Artemex armor. They are quite a bullet sponge, so make sure you have brought enough ammo with you to take care of them and the other NPCs that are around. Once the mini boss is down, drag his body over to a safe place and you'll find that he has arms, legs and helmet from the armor set on his body. The only piece that will be missing from him is the chest piece. Once you've cleared out the place of any other bad guys still alive, do a quick run around and search for the civilian body that has the chest piece on it. It will be a dead civilian unfortunately, but that's how the mission goes. Usually they will only be wearing an undersuit and the chest piece, so it's not too difficult to spot them. In this particular run with, that I did with Weasel, we actually found two chest pieces in the same bunker. So that's a possibility too. Now you can stay and finish the mission and make some extra money or take some bodies back to your ship for all the loot. Or you can leave the bunker and head on home with your brand new Artemex armor. This run took us a total of about 5 minutes inside of the bunker itself, so getting in and out is super quick. I really do suggest you bring an empty SCU box with, 2 or 4 SCU depending on how loot hungry you are, because there is a ton of loot spawns if you run this mission from start to end. Let me know in the comments down below if this helps you get your Artemix set or if you're looking to find a different type of set. New videos are out every week and maybe the set you're looking for will get featured somewhere. Until next time though, farewell citizens.